Hi, my name is Dave and I'm an artist. I've been doing art for a long time, over 20 years. I started to do art in public places and meetings and stuff like that and there are two things that almost always happen. The first is people compliment my work and they ask how to get to be able to do the things I can do. Do you know what I tell them? Just make art. It's no mystery. If you want to get better at something, you just keep practicing. I'm not bragging here. There are plenty of people better than me out there. But I do what I do to the best of my ability, and I keep working to improve that ability. I just make art. Then there's this other group of people. They come up to me and they say, I can't do art. And I always tell them the same thing. No, what you mean is someone told you you couldn't make art. It makes me kind of sad. No, I'm not saying everyone is great at art or that everyone can do it for a living, but everyone can find a way to express themselves creatively. It's an incredible outlet for the stuff that most of us bottle up inside ourselves. Picasso said something like, all children are artists, the trick is to remain an artist when we grow up. I'm not sure Picasso, Picasso and I would agree on a lot of things, but I agree with that one wholeheartedly. So if you look at art and think you'd like to do that, but this little voice inside your head is telling you you can't, tell the voice to shut up and just make art. And incidentally, it's the same way for the voices outside your head. You know, the critics and the gatekeepers who will tell you you're not good enough to be an artist. You don't have to tell them to shut up, but you don't have to listen to them either. Just make art. Seth Godin in his book, Lynchpin, said art is only, isn't only a painting. Art is anything that's creative, passionate, and personal, and great art resonates with the viewer, not only with the creator. I couldn't agree more, and so I'm starting a group right here in Berks County to help people get creative, create great stuff, and at the same time figure out creative ways to help people make a difference and in general make the world a better place. That group is called Amok, and I'm looking for a few people who want to get together and make art that makes a difference. Don't think you're an artist? I think you're wrong. Seth Godin also wrote, An artist is someone who uses bravery, insight, creativity, and boldness to challenge the status quo, in other words, the way things are. That's the kind of artist I'm looking for, the kind that wants to make great stuff and find creative ways to make a real difference. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I have to tell you, I'm a pastor too. I'm not high and mighty or really religious. I've simply found answers to my questions and the meaning for my life in serving my God and my community. My church sponsors Amok for the purpose of helping people to find ways to develop and use their gifts and talents to do more than just earn a paycheck, but rather to make a, the world a better place. You don't have to share my beliefs to be a part of Amok, and I don't intend to beat you over the head with them either. I just want to build a team of friends who want to find creative ways to make a difference and help people. If that's you, I could sure use your help. We're going to be meeting the first and third Mondays of the month starting June 7th at 7 p.m. at the Shady Lawn Barn, 3646 Pottsville Pike, Reading, Pennsylvania, 19605. That's the blue barn next to Wawa on Route 61 in Muhlenberg Township. If you have any questions, contact me at amokarts, that's A-M-O-K-A-R-T-S, at AOL.com. Remember, you don't have to be the world's greatest artist to be a part of a muck. We'll work on that together. Come on over. Let's just make art.
Hi, Dave Weiss here with Amok. If you're seeing this, it means that you've just watched the video where I created this painting. And I wanted to let you know that the first person to go to the place that I'm about to tell you gets it for free. Uh, the painting can be found at Stitch and Stuff. That's in 3646 Pottsville Pike. It's the blue barn next to Wawa and Muhlenberg Township on Route 61. And uh, if the first one there gets it, they're open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday, excuse me, Tuesday through Saturday. So go there and check it out. And uh, that's also the place where the Amok Group meets. Now remember, the Amok Group meets Mon uh, this first and third Monday of every month. Uh, starting at 7 p.m. And the idea behind this group is simple. I want to get people together to just make art. And we want to get make art, but we want to make art to make a difference. I'm not worried if you think you're not the greatest artist in the world. We're going to just create together, find out where everybody's at, and we're going to make some great stuff and do some great stuff. So I just really invite you to check it out. But again, the first person to uh, stitch and stuff, 3646 Pottsville Pike, Reading, Pennsylvania, 19605, gets the painting. Again, they're only open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. So uh, check it out, and I hope somebody wins it.